Well then, Bunny, it is time once again to rile up strangers, incite riots, and catch hella shade, as the kids might say. I don't know. I'm not connected to that sort of thing. All right. With another uh, long-awaited installment of Steve's Unpopular Opinions. All right. And this time I tackle the most unpopular opinion of all. Wonder Woman and sexism. Okay. Now, I should preface this by saying that this unpopular opinion is in no way an attack on Wonder Woman or feminism or females or any of that. I'm happy there's a Wonder Woman movie. I'm happy that little girls now have I a am, super I am heroine. not. I am not happy that there's a Wonder Woman movie. I was um, I I have been I have been watching for a long time and I've been wanting to see DC's demise. Yeah, I've been wanting to see and and fucking Batman and Robin and Suicide Squad. I'm close, okay. Yeah, to just seeing DC choke on its own blood and pass out in the gutter. Thanks, yeah. Wonder Woman. Yeah. Fucking thank you. Suck all yeah. the joy out of my life. I'm not. We're not specifically against Wonder Woman here, though, and we're not saying. No, it's about DC and, having a hit. The, so go ahead. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This isn't us being anti-feminine in any way. We're not being a male gender warriors uh, it doesn't matter what genitalia the ghostbusters have to us mm -hmm. just to be just to be very clear about that um eleanor eleanor here you go here you go baby here you go there you are and personally i wish that my kids i i wish that my two older daughters were younger. If Wonder Woman had come out and Emerald was like seven, mm -hmm. oh my god, I'd be at that theater opening day to take her. If oh, yeah. Bella was six years old, oh my god, I would have taken her once it came out, you know, dressed as Wonder Woman. That would have been huge. Well, I, I can't see how you can look at the reaction that women are having to the Wonder Woman Wonder Woman movie and not have that make you feel happy. You know? Yeah. yeah. But fuck yeah, you, it's DC. A very, it's a very positive thing. But that being said, I, Reverend Steve, am proud to say that I am doing my part to combat sexism by taking a stand against the Wonder Woman movie. Okay. In the interest of fighting sexism, I say screw the Wonder Woman movie. Let me explain. Yeah, me no, it's too much. Let me sum up. People are being trampled right now in a mad dash to heap praise onto Wonder Woman, and granted, it's all sincere. Um, but what I'm deeply worried about here is, um, is that with all of America violently regurgitating platitudes on the high holy altar of this freaking Wonder Woman movie that everyone is forgetting... That all this film is, is a gimmick, a gimmicky prequel to the utterly unforgivable shit sandwich that is Batman vs. V Superman, Dawn of Yawns. Yes. Literally everyone has just conveniently forgotten about this shitty movie and how horrible it was. Everyone's forgotten because they're all too busy writing reviews calling Wonder Woman the second coming of freaking Jesus. It's just ridiculous. And you know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen. Okay? And it's going to be all because of Wonder Woman. They're going to make a Suicide Squad 2. Yep. suicide -ier. Yeah. And it's all going to be... They will be emboldened by their success and good hard cash from Wonder Woman. And we're going to get a crypto fucking movie. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. See, this is how it happened. They announced the DC Cinematic Universe with our first film, Man of Steel. 
we're releasing a Superman movie, and we know what you want from a Superman movie. That's why we're going to make it gritty. Gritty and dark. It's all going to be gritty, very gritty. It's going to be a gritty Superman. So they released Man of Steel, and the movie bombed. So they said, well, we need to find a way to scam people into continuing to watch our crappy movies. What can we do? I know. Let's make Man of Steel 2. But instead of calling it Man of Steel 2, we'll call it Batman v Superman. We'll put Batman in it. And Wonder Woman, what the hell? And um, that will con people into seeing this next DC cinematic film. So then they made the DC, they made Batman v Superman and it sucked. And everyone's like, okay, never again. So then the DC cinematic universe said, okay, how can we con people into continuing to see our film? Let's do the one thing that Marvel hasn't done and we'll release a Wonder Woman movie. It'll be a, a movie that stars a woman. What a great scam this is. Yes. Making a Wonder Woman movie is a great scam to trick people into continuing to watching our uh, lame-ass dead-in-the-water DC Cinematic Universe. What a great scam this is. Yeah. So instead of just blindly fawning all over this movie, um, solely because the lead character has a vagina, I am standing strong against the Wonder Woman movie, not because of men's rights or sexism or anything like that. I am against it because screw DC! And fuck the DC Cinematic Universe. <laughs> no. Bad movie. I, you're not tricking me here. Mm-hmm. I shall not be fooled. No. Very upset about this. Very upset about this. Yeah. But speaking of Steve's unpopular opinions, Bun Forgettable. Um, we have a pretty awesome podcast here, and it's successful in the sense that we have more than five listeners a week. Um, yes. Hey, I'm an acquired taste, like key lime pie. Not everybody likes key lime pie. I'm a cult classic, not a bestseller. But anyway, there's one thing missing from this podcast, and I think I know what that one thing is. Controversy. Controversy. <laughs> We just don't piss off enough people. No. Especially considering how much deeply offensive shit we say on a regular fucking basis. We should be pissing off so much more people. Where's the outrage? Where's- how can how can you how can you discuss you know just eating fetuses as we have yeah. more than once and, and not get a decent heads? controversy going? Yeah. Where's the talking heads on the news? Yeah. Discussing, debating Pope on Filmgate. We have set a record. <laughs> we have set a record for film podcasts that say the phrase "the Bible is a lie" and we need another Holocaust. That's We've right. said that more than any other film podcast in history. So where's the anger and the controversy? Nowhere, good <laughs> sir. So, in, with that in mind, I have two announcements I'd like to say. I, I, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. But before going on there, when, 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 when do we, the Pope on film, get blocked by Trump on Twitter? I do not when? know. When? I do not. I, I'm feeling persecuted. I am feeling persecuted. No. I am being held back. I, I am being ignored by the man. Since yeah. the Since the election... Our advertisements for the Pope on film on Twitter have been going to him every hour on the fucking hour. Yep. When is our time? When yeah. is our time? Yeah. Stephen King gets blocked, but we don't get blocked. It's an outrage. Yeah. So two things I like to say. Number one. In the style of the Beatles, I would like to say the Pope on film is funnier than God. Yes, it is. Number two, um, I would now like to talk about the London terror attacks. Okay. Okay. Two things. Number one, I think the real issue here is not terrorists or ISIS, but the radicalization of just normal dudes. Yeah. 
And that's something that people just aren't talking about. Like that San Bernardino shooting. The sh- it, it, it was just a, a, an, an American. Sure, he was foreign, but still, he was born and raised here. Yeah. It, then later it came out that he pledged allegiance to ISIS in a phone call. Well, shit, when I was eight years old, I pledged allegiance to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> that doesn't mean I was a fucking Ninja Turtle. You know? Mm-hmm. That doesn't automatically make you a terrorist. Yeah. Well, just like, just like, uh, uh, I, I had found out that obviously I couldn't do this, but for 200 bucks, you can get an official red church of Satan card. Nice. If it wasn't 200 bucks, if it was like 10 bucks, I would do it yeah. just to, just to have it and show it to people and freak them out every now and then. Yeah. I have an you know, official minister card. I bought these days, these days, if I was 17 years old and rebellious, well, I might pledge to ISIS on a phone call. Yeah. That's the yeah. stupid shit you do. <laughs> exactly. I paid $25 for an official minister card that I now realize I could just do myself on any computer. Really? You know? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I bought it. I bought it at this, uh, at this, like, supposedly underground store mm. in uh, Tempe, Arizona when I was like 19. I put a picture, my official minister picture on the license. I put a picture of me uh, getting into a lightsaber duel at a Star Wars showing. <laughs> so I still have it in my wallet. It's weird that I have this minister card that shows me when I'm like 19. Yeah. So number two, number two, this is the part that upsets me. The thing that really upsets me about the London terror attack is it turns out that one of the suspects in the London terror attack was in a documentary. Okay. It it, it, it turns out there was a documentary called like the terrorist next door. And it, it, it talked about homegrown terrorism and turns out one of the Muslim guys that they showed that they interviewed was it was one of the guys who uh took part in this london terror attack and yeah. that's so fucked up that's so fucked up because you know that there is that that means that there is at least one londoner out there a filmmaker that there is at least one london person who saw these terror attacks and went yes yes so many people are going to buy my documentary <laughs> oh my god i'm gonna make so much money off of this yes thank you terror attack and it's just really <laughs> fucked up it's really fucked up when you think about the guy who made that documentary and how happy he must have felt about that it's it's well if he's human it's got to be some very mixed feelings yeah you know yeah. Uh, i mean you've got to feel bad about it you know yeah um but but you can't ignore the advantage that you've just gotten in this really fucked yeah. up situation. Yeah. Yeah. You know? It's weird. Yeah. 